hello everyone and welcome back again to my channel this is professor jk and today i will show you how to bypass or to remove a user account a user account password in case if you don't know the password i will show you how to remove the, the to remove the password as you can see i do have i'm running windows 10 on my computer and i don't know the password i wanted to bypass or to i want i mean i want to bypass or to remove the password so let me let me start the windows and see and let me show you first that i do have a, a password on this account on my account i mean sorry let's wait and see if it's your first time to be here please don't forget to subscribe don't don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share for more videos please i was saying that yeah there we go you can see this is windows 10 and this is my account I don't know the password so we need to bypass the password please put in mind let me show you about this easy of access this one is you can see if I click on it check you can see that there is a menu but later I will show you the difference so for that let's restart our computer First, we will need to put our computer in recovery mode or repair mode. If you want, if you do have a installation disk, you can do it. If you don't have a, an installation disk, you can do what I will do right now. So you need to interrupt your operating system two times while it's running. So let me show you. Let's wait and see. I will show you how to get recovery uh, or repair mode on Windows 10 in case if you don't have a installation disk there we go there we go okay you can see there I switch off the computer so to interrupt just switch off the computer while it's loading and you can switch it on again and switch it on again wait again for windows to start loading then you switch it off again for the second time and for the third time the operating system will try to repair yeah it will try to repair by itself some files and then it will help you to go on repair mode let's go and see you can see preparing automatic repair now the operating system is trying to repair the file system or the startup files so let's wait and see it may take time it may take time so there is nothing that we're gonna use here as uh, as a tool just we're gonna use just the command line is what is that is the tool that we need us to to bypass so let's wait and see it may take time
okay there we go and at this point you need to select advanced options you are already in repair mode you need to select the advanced option and then troubleshoot just click on troubleshoot sorry click on troubleshoot and at this point go down select again advanced option and select system image recovery so we need to select system image recovery so the the operating system i think is trying to locate to scan for an image if you do have one or not but let's just wait you you can wait or you can skip let's skip and cancel let's click on cancel and at this point you need now to select a an image by yourself so i wanted to show you the you need to select this is this the image you click on next next at this point you click on advanced click on advanced so they'll ask you to verify for system image on the network or install a drive take the second one install a driver so at this point you click just ok and there you will get a file explorer windows so you're gonna get a file explorer so now at this point you need to locate a system 30 32 folder i mean sorry so system 32 folder so you need to locate on your operating system partition i mean on your os partition so find where you install where where is your operating system like mine here it, it it's here on this partition local disk d yours may be c or f it's up to you but you need to locate this system uh, this folder system 32 there we go there is system 32 and at this point the most important thing that we need to do is to check for cmd the file name cmd there is a file named a uh, cmd and also another one utilman so let's check for cmd let's see if we do have cmd in this file you can see we do, we do have cmd cmd is command line and let's check again for utilman and see if we do have a utilman uh, let's check let's go let's go utilman oh there we go we do have a utilman and if you can if you do have the two of them please start by utilman you need to change utilman to rename i mean utilman to utilman one as you can see here so utilman to utilman one and cmd to utilman i don't know if you can get me you need to rename these two files utilman start by utilman rename utilman to utilman one or utilman b it up to you and cmd you need to rename cmd to utilman you can see there and let me rename cmd to utilman So let's check if everything is fine. You need to refresh. Let's refresh. And let's check if we do have Utilman. So let me just type even here. I can type Utilman. So the operating system will give. Yeah. You can see there we do have two Utilman, the first one, and Utilman one. So it means that everything is working nicely. So Utilman one is the CMD. Is the CMD and Utilman a Utilman? I mean, is 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 a CMD and Utilman one is a, a Utilman. So let's go back again and you click on continue. Continue, yeah, continue to Windows 10. You click on it, so the operating system, your computer will restart again. So let's wait. So don't mind this Kali line X of mine because i do have also kali linux and windows 10 so i need to it's just a bootloader for kali linux the the grab i think is grab grab if i'm not mistaken yeah i think so grab grab yeah grand unified bootloader for linux yeah so let's wait and see there we go there we go so we need now to you can see them 
we still have a password that they think for the first time they think it was just to rename the file so then once we click on ease of us of access i mean sorry easy of access we can get a command line but before you can see before we clicked on we got a menu but right now is a command line that the reason why i ask you to go and change the name so then we can get the command line once we do have a command line we will type user net user i mean type net user to get the list of your user on your operating system you can see mine i do have only one user is in a type is administrator and the name of the account is glk so let's type now net user name of the uh, uh, name of user and asterisk so net user user the name is glk you type glk and asterisk star i mean star and then they ask you type a password for the user if you want to change the password you can type a new password but if you don't want to type the a to change you can just leave it blank if you don't you, you don't want a password just leave it blank and click a uh, enter press enter i mean and then they will ask you to retype if you didn't put any password date so don't don't retype just click enter and you can see the commands completed successfully so it means that everything is fine let's let just close the command line and you can see there already we don't have any more a password just click on that side and you can see there we go so everything is fine no more password no more user account password so it's fine Thank you guys thank you for watching you can see there is another option you need to rename back so it's optional let me show you how to rename back but after the spot We need to rename back the files the one that we changed the cmd to utilman the utilman to utilman one and let me show you how to get advanced option at this point there is no need for you to interrupt again the operating system uh, to get recovery sorry to get repair mode so let's just go down them and i will show you how to get advanced option on windows 10 we need to to rename back but it's optional if you want you can rename them back or if you if you don't want you can leave them nothing won't happen you'll be busy using the computer nicely but i think that you need to rename because in case if you want to use the command line that the problem i think so so you need to rename again i don't know what will happen exactly but you need to rename let's try to rename them back let's click there let's click start and we take settings then it's loading we need to the problem is just to get the advanced option we click on update and there you click there and you will go down there you click on recovery let's click on recovery you can see recovery and let's take advanced startup for us to get the yeah and let's click restart now so for us to 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 get recovery mode or repair mode on our operating system you can see we are already in repair mode or recovery mode the same thing as we did for as we did to change the name so it's the same step let's wait i need to speed up the, the video it may take time but i don't think so i don't know let's wait and see yeah there i need to choose windows 10 and let's go please wait
yeah there we go you need to select the account the user there is no password just click next uh, yeah you can see I speak, yeah, okay okay let's go down let's change let me take local this is the windows I speed up the video please you can see there let me find util man and rename rename util man to cmd there is util man let me rename it cmd yeah and let me rename util man one to util man and everything is fine so let me check as you can see uh, util man to util man okay util man one to util man and util man to cmd and there we go everything is fine let me restart the computer okay as i was saying as i was telling you that don't mind this kali line x it's not like it's a tool no it's another operating system so you can see so at this point everything is fine you can use your computer you can put another password if you want so it's up to you setting let's wait and see if they're gonna ask if yeah you can see everything is fine no more password glk that the username and welcome so it means that there is no more password we removed our password successfully thank you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like to comment and to share if you do have a problem please don't just leave a comment and i will reply to it thank you thank you for everything thanks for watching i will see you next time bye